Helene here with Eyes on the Game here at American Top Team being joined by Edson Barboza. Now you just wrapped up practice. How's it going? Great. That's less hard sparring. Um, I feel 100% and ready to go. Yeah, now you are fighting Justin Gaethje March 30th right around the corner. Um, and you're coming off such an impressive victory over Dan Hooker. That was a fun fight to watch. Definitely. a oh, big war. Three rounds, uh, big war. Yeah, I'm very excited for the next one. It's going to be a five rounds. Yeah, I'm ready for this, man. It's going to be a, a great fight. Now, Justin is someone who uh, likes to kind of stand and trade. So how have you prepared for that? Like I said, I always be prepared for war. And I think this fight's going to be different. It's going to be a good, big war. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Have you done anything different in preparation compared to your fight against Dan? I think it changed a little bit every camp. I change a little bit. I always try to get lower and get better and better. And I feel that's the best version of Edson Barbosa. Yes. And uh, what can your fans expect on March 30th? Expect a big fight, a big war. That's I expect. War. 25 minutes. Big war. Yes, and your fights are always so much fun to watch. Um, but the lightweight division, so much going on as well. Uh, what is your take on that and Dustin Poirier and Max Holloway fighting for the interim title? Uh, it's going to be a great fight. Uh, my friend for Poirier, he trained here with us. He's helped me a little bit for, for my next fight, I guess, because he's following him. He, he's helped me a little bit, but it's going to be a great fight. And I really hope the belts come for the team. Now, um, have you helped him for his fight as well? It's, when he signed for a fight, he's helped me in sparring with everything. But when he signed for his fight, he stopped because he tried, he's a southpaw. When he oh. trained with me, he come orthodox to help me. Yeah. But hey, I know he's ready. I hope one more belt for the ATT. And then also uh, someone you fought, Habib, uh, what do you make of kind of his, uh, everything that's going on with him and his suspension and then also Connor? Wow, it's so hard to say about these guys, you know, I don't know if, uh, Habib, I know he, he's a true fighter, but Connor, I prefer don't talk about him because he's not a true fighter, yeah. you know, he just think about money, about be famous, I don't know, but yeah. I like to talk about the true fighters. The yeah. people say, yeah, it's the sign a contract, go there and fight. That's it. Well, speaking of true fighters, uh, last question for you, Tony Ferguson. Um, you know, everything that was kind of in the news lately, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Wow, uh, I really don't see a lot, you know, I don't stop to see a lot of think yeah. about him, but I hope everything's going to be all right on his, for him and his family. I hope God bless him and I really hope he's come back uh, to fight as soon as possible because, in my opinion, he's a true champion right now. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time and best of luck to you March 30th. Thank you. Thank you, guys.